Hi, welcome to the first Dirty Little Secrets mountain bike podcast magazine. It's going to be a weekly show. We're going to have some star riders. We're going to show you some tips, show you some advice on your bike, and hopefully have some fun along the way. Okay, so whatever kind of riding you're into nowadays, you'll always come across bank corners, berms as we call them. So wherever you ride, chances are you'll have a berm similar to this one on your track. Uh, just generally made up of lo fallen logs and some soil banked at 45 degree angle. The technique here is not to brake at all. It's really important on the entrance to the corner, you get your braking done in a straight line. But throughout the entire corner, just drop your outside pedal. In this case, on the left turn, it will be your right foot. Drop the right foot down, that will weight the tyres perfectly and just lean into the corner and let the bike flow. Just weight the outside pedal with your right foot on this left hand corner. Uh, you just need to come through, be really focused and let the tyres do the work. Unfortunately for some of us, even our mothers think we've got weird shaped heads. And what we need is some eyewear that's got a really good degree of adjustability. These little chaps are Adidas Evil Eye Climber Cools. And what they've got is some side arms that have got three different adjustment positions. So if you're a little bit freaky, you could have one pointing down, one pointing up, and it's gonna fit you really well. The other feature they've got is the nose piece has got two levels of adjustment. So if you've got a wide nose or a narrow nose, you're gonna find a position that fits. And even if your nose is wide on one side and narrow on the other, these little babies are gonna be a really snug fit. The lens is completely changeable. They've got a range of lenses, they snap out, snap back in really quickly and there you go you've got different lens for different light conditions and when you've got them adjusted and you're wearing them riding you've got these little scalloped vents all the way around the lens and what that does it keeps airflow going over the lens so when you're riding and you're hot you're sweating your lens is going to stay clear of mist you're going to see where you're going and hopefully you won't crash into too many trees so they're awesome glasses if you check out adidaseyewear.com you get more information. For me, they're a winner. Highly recommended. For riding conditions in a lot of parts of Europe, the UK, East Coast America, this is something you're going to want in your armory. It's a mud tire. The main difference between a mud tire and other tires is these quite big spaces between the tread. You've got some quite tall knobs that cut through the soft mud, but when you're in the mud, the gaps between the treads mean that the mud doesn't stick to the tire. So one of the big problems with a normal tire, it hooks onto the mud, the mud coats the complete tire, it starts sticking to the frame, and then you lose the ability to ride, to control the bike. So mud tires are something you should consider throughout probably most of the winter time if you're riding in an area that doesn't drain very well. Uh, you gotta hook yourself up with some of these and your riding will be a lot more enjoyable. Not enough of you are drinking enough water every day. What you should be aiming for is about two litres a day. And if you drink that amount of water, as well as other drinks, such as juice, coffee, you'll feel better, you'll look better, you'll ride your bike faster, you'll actually lose some weight if all you do is add the, the water consumption to your daily routine. So make sure you keep drinking water. Keep it going during the day, from when you get up in the morning to last thing at night. And, uh, I guarantee you'll see results within a week. So there's your cleanest dirty little secret. Braking bumps are really a case of don't run if you can't walk. You really need to build up to these. If you're a beginner, the main way to ride these bumps are just to go nice and steady and just have a controlled braking motion all the way down. You don't want to skid or be off the brakes, you know, you just want to have a nice controlled braking motion the whole way down. Keep your body nice and central and make sure you've got your pedals level at all times. If you're a little bit more advanced and a bit more confident in your riding, what you need to do is actually get off the brakes and actually go quicker over these braking bumps. It will smooth out the ride so much more. The technique is just to skim across the top of each bump, again with your pedals level and body quite relaxed. Always have your fingers over the brakes should anything go wrong, but generally just keep focused on the line ahead and skim across the top of each one. Let the momentum of the bike carry all the way over. Okay, let's go and give it a go.